Hello. Hi, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Good night. Hi, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hi, thank you. And you? Very well. Thank you for asking. <laughs> nice okay. to see you all. Now, let me Kiss. see. Jane, right? Jane, Tatiana, Luis, Pablo, and Daisy. Very well. Let me send a message right here. Okay. Hi. <laughs> now we're going to start with our classes 8 or 1 p.m. So thank you so much, guys, for being here on time. We really appreciate it. What we're going to do in this very moment is that I am going to send a message to everyone here. Hello, guys. It's time to learn and practice English. Please join us. Okay, now we got it there. Now, we're going to continue there with our class. Um, I would like to know first, if you have any questions about what we did yesterday, about the activities that we perform, any questions? Do you have questions? No? Not teacher. Not teacher. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna start here, right? And Let me show you here. Mm -hmm. I am going to show you one screen right now. Right in this screen that you will see, you will pretty much uh, see some nouns. Okay, nouns. With these nouns that you're going to work with, right? You are going to tell me if the word it's a noun or not. Right? Simple, simple as that. Now after that, we're going to also work with nouns, right? And see if you identify if. These are countable nouns or uncountable nouns, right? Now, let me show you here my screen. Just give me a moment. First, let me show you this. Okay, can you see my computer right now? Yes. Okay, yes, teacher. there you go, I wanna put the sound off. It's making me a little bit crazy. I think it's the other one, give me a moment. Oops. Where is that sound coming from? Okay. There we are. Okay. So welcome to the other ones that just joined the class. 
Thank you so much for being here. So we continue with nouns, right? We have different words there that you're going to tell me, yes, Sylvia is a noun or no, Sylvia is not a noun, right? So we go here with some of the words here, right? We have girl, short, thin, huge, crane, swimming, lanky, dog, lovely, beautiful, house, garden, shoe, shop, pink, rosy, crooked, and nurse. Okay, now I want you to tell me, please, Jani, the first three right here. One, two, three. Girl, lanky, nurse. Are these nouns? So everyone pay attention right now. Uh, the girl? 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 Uh huh. Uh, okay. What about lanky? Uh, no sé qué significa lanky. You don't know the meaning? Okay. You use your intuition. Lanky. Mm -hmm. Where should I put it? It's um mm, no, no, a no. No, a noun, okay. And the other one was uh, I lost nurse. Uh-huh. Nurse. Is a no. Is a noun. No. Mm -hmm. Very good. Luis Javier Castillo. Tell me these three words: short, lovely, and pink. Short. Uh huh. Is a noun. Is a noun. Not a noun. A noun. Not a noun. Not a noun. Lovely. <clears throat> Not a noun. Not a noun. Pink. Not a noun. Not a noun. Okay. Imelda. Thin and house. Thin. Is a noun. It's a noun. Thin is a noun. And house. A. Hey. It's a noun. It's a noun too, okay. Now, Pablo Abrego, huge and crooked. Is it a noun? Uh, huge, not a noun. It's not a noun, okay. And crooked? Crooked is not a noun. Not a noun, okay. Let's go with Tatiana, crane in shop. Crane is a noun. Mm -hmm. Shop is no, not a noun. Not a noun. Let's go with Carol Elizabeth. Swimming. It's a noun or not a noun? Is nor a noun. It's not a noun. Okay. And dog. Carol. Is a noun. It's a noun. It's a noun. Yes. Noun. Okay. Noun. Very good. Let's continue with Emerson. Beautiful and garden. Beautiful. Is it a noun? Not a noun, teacher. Not a noun. And garden. It's a noun. It's a noun. Okay. Now we continue with dun, dun, dun. Oscar Noé. Rosie and Shu. Uh, Rosie is a noun. Rosie is a noun. And Shu? It's a noun. It's a noun. Okay, now it's time for the reveal. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. We got the answers. Yes, look at that. Very good. Now we just have some of the incorrect answers, as we can see. 15 out of 18. So we're going to see the answers. Look at this, right? These are the answers that we give. Thin is an adjective, right? Thin, we use thin 
when we use it for people that are not fat, right? Uh, and they are very skinny, right? That's a thin person. And then we have lanky is a noun and sharp is a noun. So we should look at these answers. So very good job. Excellent. 15 out of 18, that's, that's perfect to me. So very good job. Thank you so much. Excellent job. Now I need you to please take a screenshot of this if you can. Take a screenshot and, and send, uh, use, it, use WhatsApp so you can have a copy of these activities, right? And I'm going to share the second exercise, okay? Second exercise. I'm gonna see here. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. Here. Second. Pay attention, pay attention. Now, can you see where it says uncountable, incountable? Yes? yes. Yes, okay, very well. Now, what are we gonna do here? We are going to divide them, right? We're going to try to guess what each of them means, right? So that's what we're gonna do in this very moment. I will ask some other people to help me with the answers, right, for this. So listen to the pronunciation. Maybe you can help me with the pronunciation too, Tatiana and Bernardo. Okay, Tatiana, please repeat with me. Olives. Olives. Onions. Onions. Sausages. Sausages. Chicken. Chicken. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Thank you. Bernardo. Tuna. Tuna. Peppers. Peppers. Spinach. Spinach. Sweet corn. Sweet corn. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Thank you. Franco, ham. Ham. Prawns. Prawns. Cheese. Cheese. Pineapple. Pineapple. There you are. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Now, this is going to be individual work. In the chat, now we're going to use the chat, okay? In the chat, I need you to divide these words, okay? We're going to divide them and then I will be asking you or I will take the answers from the chat. So let's start, right? You will have two minutes. At 8.15 is at, when it says here five minutes, we should stop, okay? So let's start right now. This is, this is vocabulary related to food. This is food, so let's do it. Let me, okay, there we are. This is food, right? Olives, onions, sausages, sausages. So let's start. Do you understand what you're going to do right now? I'm just gonna put olives, countable, uncountable. You tell me, right? Let's start, two minutes. Well, one minute and 45 seconds. Let's start. Do it quickly, put it in the chat. Thank you for the person. Thank you to the person. Listen, this is Dadika. Pepper, peppers are countable. Peppers are countable. Okay, okay. Put it there in the chat. Use the chat. Use the chat. Uncountable. Uh, uh, uncountable. Countable, not. Uncountable. 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 Okay, I don't yes, know. Yes, pepper are countable. Okay, okay. Use the chat, use the chat. Olives countable says here. Okay, another answer. Let's see here. Can you see the chat? Yes, on the screen. Onions countable, it says. Onions countable. Uncountable, sausages, chicken, and tomato. Sausages, chicken, and tomatoes, uncountable. Cheese, uncountable. Okay. Cheese, 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 uncountable. Thank you, Melda, Bernardo, and Luis. 
Very good. Tomato is countable, says Wendy. So let's change it. Okay. Tomato is countable, countable. Tatiana, very good. What else? Pineapple is countable. Pineapple, countable. I don't know. I'm just taking your answer. Ham and countable. Okay. Tuna, countable. Okay, Johnny. What else? Spinach, I'm countable. Countable tuna and sweet corn. Countable tuna and sweet corn. Spinach and countable. Mushrooms, countable, okay? And what about prawns? This is what we use for cocktails here in El Salvador. Prawns, they are like orange. Right, and very delicious, by the way. Very, very delicious. Let me see. What is, what is this, prawns? Prawns, it's what we use here for cocktails, right? Okay. When we go to El Puerto de la Libertad, we eat a cocktail, right? And they are, how can I say? They are kind of orange, right? They are not conscious, that's for sure. These are the other ones. Countables, okay, what about prawns? Prawns. Uh, uncountable. Uncountable, okay. Okay, now we're gonna send it here, right? Look at that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you here in the, in the, in WhatsApp right in whatsapp i'm sending right now to you a image of a prawn right teacher teacher for yes. what for for what countable is pepper pepper what? isn't countable pepper is a countable look at that right pepper no yeah. pepper one pepper chili so pepper is countable. You can count the peppers. Yes. Countable. Yes, it is countable. Okay. Pepper. This is, I'm going to send you a picture right now of a pepper. Well, let me see if I can put it here. Pe pe pepper is like a sugar. No. This is a pepper. Pepper. These are peppers. Right? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Right. Peppers. And... These are prawns, prawns here. These are prawns, right? And then we have, what's the other? What's the other one that you don't know? Teacher, uh, pepper, pepper, uh, um, pepper only as uh, granitos. Peppers is eh, la pimienta, sí. Pepper, pepper, pepper in Spanish is, is pimienta, no? No. This, ah, is si la S. this is pepper. This is a pepper. Okay, okay. Right? If you look at this, what I, just, what I just put here, right? Look what I put here in the, in the browser. Pepper. Now, what you're saying is this. Peppermint. Oh, you, you mean the black pepper, the one that we put there. Mm -hmm. No, that's black pepper, black pepper. Mm -hmm. But these are peppers. Mm -hmm. Now we could also have here, right? Pepper, we have prawns. Do you understand all this vocabulary? Is it clear? No? Yes, it's a yes. Okay. A veces la, la traducción no, no falla un poquito. Eso es lo que pasa. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you, Franco. Thank you, Tatiana, for your question. Teacher. Yes? Teacher. Teacher. Uh, what is this? Tuna. Oh, tu oh, I love tuna. Tuna. This is tuna. No, but this is tuna. I'm going to put here tuna fish. This is tuna. Teacher. Tuna cans. Teacher, 
Yes. Mm. So for for what materials is it countable? What? For what for what is a tomato is countable? Tomatoes. Tomato, tomatoes. Yes. When we have one tomato, right? Tomato. Right? It's one. Countable? One, two, three tomatoes. Ah, okay, okay. Sir, sir, tomato or is some tomato? Now, the word that is uncountable is sauce. Sauce is sauce. sauce. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. It okay. can be soy sauce, tomato sauce. Sauce, tomato. Mm -hmm. The word okay. sauce is uncountable. But the word tomato is countable. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Thank you for asking. Perfect. So we remember what we did yesterday about countables and uncountable nouns. Do you have questions about that? Questions about countables and uncountables? No? No question. Okay, so we will continue here. Today, we are going to work with another topic and then we're going to move to the book, okay? We're going to do a lot of activities in the book. So let me show you right now my screen. I'm gonna show you my PowerPoint, right? So give me a moment. Da, 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 da. Okay. One second, guys. Can you see my computer right now? Which is much versus many, yes? Okay, now we're going to use these two words, right? Much, it's in many are very simple to use, right? First, we're going to know that these words, they are attached or they are connected to the nouns, right? So every time that you use a noun, you have to think if you're gonna give a quantity, you need to know if you are going to use much or many because they are different. They are totally different. Now we're gonna start here. The difference is much is very high or? No, they are different because we use them with this. this is what we're going to see right now, uh, Franco. In this case, we use many with countable nouns, right? That's that's it. Okay, okay that's I, got the it. Big I, got, I got it, I got it. Okay, now, yes. uh, Johnny, can you please read this information, the two sentences here? We use... Okay, we use many with countable nouns in... Um, Sorry, uh, in question and in the negative sentence. Very Sampler, mm -hmm. how many apples do you have? Sample negative sentence. There aren't many apples. Okay, very good. So we have here a question. How many apples do you have? We cannot say how much apples. We use many, right? And in the negative sentences, there aren't many, there are some apples, right? So we use them with a specific. Now, when we say many, it's more than five, right? More than six, we have a lot. For example, in this class, in this class right now, let me see. I have, dun, dun, oof, I have many students, right? I'm not giving you a number, but I'm telling you that I don't have two, I don't have three, I have many students, right? So it's a, it's a big quantity, 18 students, that's a lot, right? So that's what we use, many. Now let's see here with much, much. Tatiana, would you be kind and read this please? Much, we use much with uncountable nouns in question and in negative sentences. Example, question, 
How many money do you have? Example, negative sentences. I don't have much money. Okay. Can you read the question again? How? How much? How much money do you have? Exactly. Very good. So we have much is for uncountables. So here I cannot say how many money do you have? We say how much, right? How much water do you drink? Oof, a lot, right? A lot of water. How much water? We can say how many water? Mm -mm. Big no, no, right? So we need to make sure that we understand that. Now this is very, very simple, okay? Very simple. So now I'm gonna show you right now some questions. Pay attention. We're gonna do this together. Uh, teacher, yes? teacher, teacher, yes. uh, water, water is much water. Much water, a lot of water. Uncountable. Mm -hmm. It will depend on the quantity that you want. Mm -hmm. Now we have a quiz, right? Many or much? Pay attention. Look at this word. This is number one. I have five questions, I guess, right? Should I use many or much? There many. are there are much. Many. Huh? There are many. 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 Okay. many. There are many. Oops. The T. Yes, there are many pencils on the desk. Pencil countable. It's countable, exactly. Pencils is countable. Now, let's see the other one. How many? Much. much. What? Any. Much. How much? Much. How much do you think you write? Any. It's a question. Is is any, much any 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 it's the is question much it's much because the word is juice juice yes. is uncountable okay. juice is uncountable remember we are using many or much for questions and negative sentences right so in this case the word juice is uncountable right so Let's put it here. Next one. Hamburger and many. 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 How many hamburgers many. can you eat? Can you eat with one? No. <laughs> there, in my case, <laughs> how many hamburgers can you eat? Hamburgers is countable. Countable. Let us continue. Number four. I have many friends. I have many. Many friends? Many friends. Yes. Exactly. Many, many. friends. Countable. Very good. Friends is countable. And I think this is the last one. I didn't drink much. Much water. Much water yesterday. Much water yesterday. Very good. Excellent. Excellent job. Now, do we understand the meaning of much and many and when we're going to use them? It's a clear. It's clear, okay. It's clear. Does anybody have a question? Questions? Pablo, Imelda, Jose? No? So I will ask you questions, okay? We keep working. I like examples. So now, when we use many or much, we can ask questions too. For example, we can say, Sylvia, how much, how much did you pay for this? I'm asking for a price. I'm asking for money, right? So when I use how much, we know that I'm going to give a price. But if we say, oh, how many, oh, how many markers do you have? Oh, I have one, two, three markers. So we use how many and how much to make questions that are related to quantity. 
because we need to know the quantity or the amount that is related to a, to a noun, right? To a thing that we want to know. Now let's go ahead and work with how much or how many. We know this, right? How much and countable. How many countable. Teacher. Yes. You are a pass at least. 20. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we're gonna stop right now. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Franco. You're so kind. Give me a moment. I'm gonna just open up here. Cha la 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 la. Cha la la in the morning. Give me a sec. It's 831. Give me a moment. Okay, I have Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Carlos Vladimir. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Alvarez. Present, present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Nunez. Present teacher. Elena Guadalupe Andrade Reyes. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, Miss. Francisco Sánchez López. Present, Miss. Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla García. Jacqueline. Present. Present. Thank you. Eh, Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. No. Joana. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. José. José Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enríquez. Present. Luis Javier Castillo. Present Miss. Ok. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Manuel. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Sara Digaí López Portilla. Present teacher. Tatiana Ivón Torres de Beltrán. I am here, teacher. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Present. Yanira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Pablo Alberto Abrego, Abrego Vázquez. Present teacher. Ok, perfecto. Perfect, perfect. So I got here the information. Teacher, a mí no me mencionó. No? What's your name? What's your name? Imelda Xiomara Pineda. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro after Francisco Sanchez, yes? Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro? Here. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Did I miss someone else? No? Please turn on your cameras. Remember, this is for Insafor, right? This is not for me. Present Manuel Alfredo Ventura. Manuel, you need to say present because I cannot take attendance if you don't say present, okay? You need to say it. Now we continue. Let us continue before we go back to the to this. Okay, so we are with how much and how many, right? Let's go back. We're gonna make here questions. It says how many or how much? Pablo Abrego, what do you think is the answer for this? How much or how many? 
Sorry, I, I don't understand. We're choosing right now, how much or how many? Remember, how much is for uncountable nouns. How, how many is for countable nouns. So Pablo, if we have how much cars are there how much? or how many cars are there? Pablo, what do you think is the answer? Oh. How many cars? Many. How cars many there? cars? Many cars. Yeah, it's how many cars. Thank you, Pablo. Now we're going to continue. Right? How many cars are there? Oof, we can see there are six cars. Right? There are six, there are six cars. cars. Now let us continue. Let's see, next person. Jacqueline, what do you think is the answer here? How much sugar is there? Okay, very good. Look at the answer. Look at the answer, please. How much sugar is there? Jacqueline, read the answer. Uh, How many sugar is there? There are three spoons. Uh huh. Count over three. Yes, but here we are counting the spoons. We're talking about sugar, right? Not the spoons. Here is the question related to sugar. I want you to always think of this, right? Here, this is related to this, right? This, this is related to this not to this, right? This is this, right? How much sugar is there? Now, the quantity that we're giving, right, is this. This is the quantity, but the noun that we're referring to is sugar. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, perfect. Bye. Now we're gonna continue here. Just give me a moment. We go. Emerson, what do you think is the answer here for this? How much? How much pictures are there? How many? Pictures. Pictures are the things that you take. Boom, boom, boom. Like the selfies, you know, when you take a selfie, say, I'm gonna take five selfies. One, two, three, four, five, right? You take the selfies, you take the pictures. He, he just get in. I don't know how he opened the door. Sorry, guys. Now, we say pictures, right? Look at the answer, Emerson. Read the there, answer, please. There is six pictures. There is or there are? There are, sorry, there are. There are six pictures. Very well. Carla Eugenia, answer. How much milk is there? Very well, Eugenia, excellent. Emerson, can you please stop? No me mancha la pizarra, Emerson. Gracias. Sorry. Thank you, Cipote. Okay. Now, we go there. Yo pensé que estaba embrujada mi compu. No, but it's not hunted. Okay. How much milk is there? Not milk, no. Milk. Milk. How much milk, milk is there? Yes. Milk. milk. How much milk is there? Look at that. <laughs> Can you please read the answer, Eugenia? There are two bucks of milk. Two boxes of milk. Excellent job. Thank you so much. Now, we're going to, well, this is the, the, the exercise that we did yesterday. Do you remember this exercise? Yes, very easy, right? Now, good job, very good. Now, we are going to stop here with this, right? We're gonna stop, just let me share here. This card, the annotations. And we are going to go right now 
to our book, right? We're gonna start with the book. We're gonna make some examples there. Now, yesterday we practiced with vocabulary. That's perfect. We love this vocabulary. These questions, they are not important, right? So we're gonna work on this. This is what we just saw, right? This is in the, in the book. This is in our book. This is on page 10. Go to page number 10 in the book. Open your book to page number 10. And we have how much and how many. Now we're going to see these questions with simple present, but we can make questions with how much and how many in other tenses. No, these are in simple present, does, does, is, this is simple present, but we can use it with future. How many students are you going to have next week? Right? That could be future. How many cell phones did you buy last uh, year, Bernardo? Oh, I bought six cell phones. So please remember that how much and how many can be used in other tenses. Okay, now, uh, Jani, can you read these questions? And Daisy, read these questions, please. Jani, you start. Okay, uh, how much? How much does the refrigerator weigh? How much does it cost? Uh, the, how much is the warrant? How much does it storage? Very good. Thank you so much. Now let's continue there. <clears throat> how many? How many real fractures? Does it have? How many colors is this in? How many functions does it have? How many products do you want? Yeah, excellent. Now we're just gonna check these two words, right? Well, three words. Have. Refrigerator. Have. Listen. Listen. Refrigerator. 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 Yes. Refrigerator. Now, we have this refrigerator equals fridge. Same thing. It's the same. They are synonyms. Okay. Fridge. I I say fridge. I don't say refrigerator. Too difficult. <laughs> so I say fridge. <laughs> so we have this storage. Repeat storage. 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 Very good. Storage. Features. 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 Okay. Features. Half. 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 Very good. Thank you so much. Now, let's take a look at these questions. And Thank we are going to see, yeah, we're going to see right now some examples here. We have how much, dun, 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 right? And how many, dun, dun, dun. Now, What's going to be the structure? We're gonna talk about a structure here, right? What is the structure? The structure is how we create these questions, right? Like, I always say it like the formula that you use to write it, right, to, to make the writing. So we're going to have here first, how much, right? Let's see the example. I'm gonna put here an example from the book, how much does, okay. Give me a moment. 
How much does the fridge cost? Okay, now, this is my question, right? Now, with this question, we can see that we have here the word how much, right? Plus auxiliary, right? In this case, the auxiliary can be do or does, right? Plus the noun, right? Plus ever. This is one example. This is one structure, right? Now, this belongs to this, right? So we're going to put it in another color. Give me a moment. Right? Now we have how much plus do or does plus the noun plus the verb, right? How much, how much do you pay for your, for your watch, Alexander? How much did you pay for your watch in the past? $20. $20, wow. <laughs> That's very cheap, right? Yes, dollars very good. How much does your electricity bill cost every month, Bernardo? For example, my electricity bill, let's see, electricity bill, it's $40.71, that's good, right? What about you, Fernando? How much does the electricity bill cost for you in your house? My electricity bill is uh, $26. $26, oh, that's good, that's good. You don't spend right too much electricity, that's good. Now, we have those examples there, right, from our book, and we can see that we have how much plus, do or does plus the, the verb, right? How much does it cost? Now, we also have another one with the verb be, right? We have it here, we're gonna put it here, right? And it says, how much is, the warranty, right? Now, when you have this, right, you need to pay attention to this because this is how much plus the verb be, usually is going to be is, right? Because it's how much plus a noun. This is easier. How much is your how much is your juice, your orange juice in the morning? One dollar, I think so, right? How much is the milk that you drink in the morning? Oh, one dollar and 50 cents, right? Here we can use the verb be, right? Do you understand these two structures? Yes? I don't understand. Yeah. Yes? I, I don't understand. Okay, which part? Ask me questions. The warranty for what? For car, for house? Oh, no, it can be anything. How much is the warranty? For the cell phone, for the computer, for the iPhone, for the car, anything. Right now, we are focusing on a structure, right? On the structure. How much is the warranty for these markers? One day, <laughs> right? So here you can use the warranty for anything. What we want to see is where do you put the verb, right? And where do you put the nouns, okay? Thank you, Franco, for your question. Uh, any other questions? No, 
Luis? This is noun, this is, is an adjective. Where are you? Noun. Uh, the noun is an adjective. No. No. And what is noun? What is a noun, uh, Imelda? They know already, Luis Javier, so they will tell you. What is a noun? Who remembers? Yanni? It's a noun, um, mm -hmm. yeah, an adjective. It's not an adjective, very good, but what is it? What is a noun? Sustantivo? I don't understand Spanish. It's difficult. Es que para que me entienda Luis Javier. Okay, but tell me in English. Yesterday, you have it on your notebook, right? I sent you a picture. What is a noun? Mm -hmm. What is a noun? Nobody. Oh my God. Let's go. Me, teacher. Yes, Fernando? Uh, noun is the name that we use. Uh, noun is the word that we use to name something or someone. To name something or someone. Very good. So, Luis Javier, thank you, Bernardo. Thank you, Yanni. So, noun is pretty much everything that we see with Javier. Cell phone. Markers, mouse, bills, notebook, everything, everything that's around you, it's a noun. Right? A noun is the name. Uh, it's it's, it's, it's called it's to say how much be computer. How it's much is say. the computer? How much is the computer? You're asking for the price, so yes. It's correct. So Luis Javier, do you understand what is a noun? Yeah, yes, uh, but, but warranty, what is warranty? So what is warranty? What is warranty, Nouns. Tatiana? The traduction, for, for. I don't give translation, sorry. No le traduzco porque hablo bien feo español. ¿Verdad, Alexander? Ni sé que es apocopado. Ayer me dijeron, no lo investigar. So, what is warranty? Warranty, it's like the time, right? Like the time, uh, for example, if you go to, to Tropigas, or if you go to La Curazao, and you say, oh, I want this cell phone. This cell phone is $100. Right? That's the price, Javier. $100. We say, huh? what is the warranty for this cell phone? What happens if it's broken or if it doesn't work? Okay, the warranty is one year. So if uh, I got it, I got it. Work, I got it. You can take it back, right? And it. then La Curacao will say, okay, you can take it back because now it's not working and it's under warranty. Right, very good. Uh, okay, okay. How you say how much in the warranty? My answer is uh, my warranty two years my computer. Uh -huh. how, no, but how much is the warranty? Uh, how much? Warranty. Okay, how much? Mm -hmm. How much? Uh, how much be two years? my computers like you say how long is the warranty that's another question when you want to say the years is how long is the warranty two years that's time not price right now when we ask for how much we're asking about money uh, too long is like, too long is it's like a, it's like a I like a years. Time, yes, like years, like uh, like years. a time, like a time. Yes, that's right. 
Okay, now we move to how many, right? Now, try to avoid translation, please. I will, I will ask you avoid translation because I know that we're in level four, but the more you speak in English, it's better, right? I will say this in Spanish. Eviten traducir cuando se vayan a las imágenes de, de, de Google, perdón, cuando se vayan a Google, por ejemplo, a buscar una palabra, no la traduzcan. Busquen imágenes, así como hice yo. ¿Por qué? Porque si no vamos traduciendo el inglés y el español tienen estructuras totalmente distintas. El español es bien eh, florido, tiene un montón de cosas que, que yo no entiendo. Right? Pero el inglés es más directo. Si no traduzcan, porque si no les va a costar bastante. No, let's go back to how many. Right. In how many, we have a little bit of different with the structure, right? So I'm gonna put here a structure for how many, right? And we're gonna put here how many students do you have in the class? Okay, look at this structure, right? Dun, dun, dun. Right, now with this structure here, pretty much what we have guys is how many, right? Plus a noun, right? Plus do or does, plus a subject, plus verb, plus complement. This is what we need to make this question, right? How many plus the noun, plus do or does, plus subject, plus verb, plus complement. Look at this, right? So please pay attention to this. This is what we need to make our example, right? This is number one. In how many, we have how many plus the noun. Here we have how much plus the auxiliary. Do you see the difference? Right, this is the difference. This is the difference. Here we have auxiliary plus how much. Here we have a noun plus how many. Do you see the difference there? No? We have no, some. No, no. Huh? In, in how much? Uh, second uh, auxiliary. Uh, in how many second nouns? Exactly. That's right. That is correct. That is correct. Now, questions about that structure? Let's see another example. We're gonna put how many, let's see, how many, oh, how many children do you have? How many children, we're gonna use the verb B, are there in your house? Now, this word there is optional, right? We can use it or not. That would depend on you, right? How many children are there in your house or how many children are in your house when we have the verb be usually we have the word there with how many right so we can actually establish a quantity right so how many children are in your house jenny how many children are in your house there are There, there, are, there are three children. There are three children. Very good. There are three children. Now we can use there are, right, as a response here, right? Let's make this smaller. But then the structure for this will be how many plus 
right, plus the noun, plus verb B. There is optional, I can say or not in the question, plus complement. Now, do we understand this question? With how many plus the verb B? Yes, no, maybe. Why, why is optional there? Because it's optional. That's what grammar says. You can say it or no. It's an exception. Mm -hmm. How can we make an example? Let's try to make another example here with how many we do or does or how many would be, right? I will ask you right now, Jacqueline, how many TVs are in your house? How many, repeat please. How many TVs are in your house? Uh, two, two are TV. There are two TVs. Repeat. Two are. No, listen, listen. There are. There are. Two TV. Very good. In the house. In the house. Very good. Now let's see here, Javier. How many co workers do you work with? Well, there, mm -hmm. there are 15. 15. Very good. More or less. More or less. More or less. Now you say. 15 co-workers, or I work with 15 co-workers. Very good, Javier. More or less, right? More or less, excellent. Now, do we understand these structures right now? Yes, no, maybe. Can we try to make some of our examples? Now, this is what we're going to do. You, you, my dear students, are going to work in the breakout rooms, okay? In the breakout rooms, I am not going to participate. I will be listening to you, only listening. Now, you are going to choose one product. It can be a cell phone, a printer, a computer, anything, okay? Anything. And you are going to make three questions with how many and three questions with how much about that product, right? For example, my product is this cell phone, right? This is my product. What questions can I make about this product? Remember the vocabulary that we worked with last week, uh, well, yesterday. Side, weight, warranty, storage, etc. Right? So what questions can I make about this? This is my product. No questions. My goodness. How much? Uh, does uh, money no mm -mm. remember how much uh, how much uh, cell phone look at the structure that we're using uh -huh. Uh -huh. how mm -hmm. much and uh, do how much do cell phone uh, cell phones how have? much does your cell phone 
No. Um, um, how much uh, does a cell phone um, <laughs> cost? How much does the cell phone cost? Very good. It costs $100, right? How much does the cell phone cost? Very good. What other question can we ask? Uh, how many cell phones do you have? How many, how many cell phones do you have? Just one, okay? Very good, very good. How many cell phones do you have? So that's what you're going to do. You select a product, right? Remember, computers. Remember what you have in your, in your workplace. In your workplace, you have a lot of things that you can describe using these questions, right? So thank you, Tatiana. Thank you, Bernardo, for your questions. Right? And that's what you're going to do. Do you understand what we're doing right now? Yes? Okay, now you're going to work in triads, groups of three, right? Three people working together, decide which, which uh, product you're going to use. I am going to be like hoping from, hoping from one group to another, but I will be listening to you, only listening. So please pay attention, okay? Work with your group. Are you ready? Are you ready? Miss, uh, three questions uh, for group or personal? No, for the group. For example, I work with Tatiana, I work with Emerson and Jani. We are a group, we are four. We have selected cell phone, then we, are going to make three questions with how many and three questions with how much. So as a total, we're going to have six questions in a group, only six, right? That's why you're going to work in groups, right? Now let's go ahead and work right now. Dun, dun, dun. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's go. All right. Let's go. We're going to have like 10 minutes to complete this activity. All right. Let's go right now, please. Carol, please join your group. Carol, Jacqueline, go to your group. Yeah. Serían tres, tres con la estructura que hay. Tres con la estructura que hay. Tres y tres, vea, serían seis. Tres y tres. How much y how many? Sí. How much? Bueno, Meli, entiendo yo de que tienen que ser con estructuras negativas y en preguntas, ¿verdad? Right now we're just making questions, Eduardo. No, uh, I think uh, I think that Howard is many the user in question is in negative. Yes. Okay. Right now we're making just questions. Only questions. 
Okay. Question How much? Podría ser hot mat is the color eh, de cell phone. Día, how much? How much does laptop? How much is? Ah, is. Eh, <laughs> is laptop? Warranty. The mm -hmm. is the, the warranty. I don't know how much, but by the way, I will put one there too. Okay. Solo que hay que evaluarla y ver si está bien. En el chat la voy a pegar. Este de dijo la teacher que era opcional. Puede ir money car are in your work parking. Creo que ahí serían completas ya, ¿verdad? Porque tenemos tres de Ajá. Money y tres de March. Ajá. Este... Si gusta, se la voy, a, la voy a ordenar y la voy a, a volver a enviar. Ok. Eh, how much, pero sería, eh, falta el auxiliar, sería ahí, dos, dos coffee. How much dos coffee? Coffee. Uh -huh. Acá. Y Para también. Coffee sería do. Ajá. Do, do coffee. How much do coffee? Ok, how much, pero sí lleva el auxiliar ahí. How much do coffee? Cost sería también, ¿verdad? Now, remember that do, it's for plurals. And coffee is uncountable. It's uncountable. Uh, so, si es uncountable, it's a, a many. Mm -hmm. How many? No. Coffee is uncountable. So in, in course with how much? Uh -huh. And coffee is correct. But you cannot uh, use how much do coffee because do uh, is for plurals. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Entonces sería how much coffee? Does. 
Ah, das. Ah, ah, check, check, Remember, check. you have to do and does. Does. Uh huh. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Does coffee cost? How much does coffee cost? Okay. Thank you, teacher. Amazon. Teacher is a. Uh, uh, Three example, uh, the many and three example the much. Three examples of many and three examples of much. Yes. Okay. That's right. Thank you. So. Is correct. Uh, how much does the car cost? Teacher, how much does the car cost? Yes. Okay. Okay. La tercera sería how much. Okay, let's go. Hi, Eugenia. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Carol. Hi, Eduardo. Hi, hi, hi. What do you say? Hi, hi there. Now we're okay. going to start here with the class again. Okay. Now, what are the examples that you have? I need some of you, right, to tell us your examples. I would like to start with ta, 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 Sara Abigail. Sara, hello. Some examples. Um, what is your product? Uh, books. Uh -huh. Books, oh, books, very good, very good. So tell us about example. Books. Mm -hmm. huh? How many books have you read in the year? Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? Um, how many pets do you have in your house? How many pets? But that doesn't have to do with the books, but it's correct, the question is correct, so that's fine. Continue. How much uh, does the mouse your computer? How much does the mouse 
your computer. Does the mouse in your computer cost? Cost. cost. That's yes, the cost. verb. Cost. Very good. What else? Uh, solamente. Only that. Okay, good. That's uh, tengo okay. otra de many, pero de much solamente dice una. The many, uh, tengo otra que es how many apples do you buy in the market? Okay. Another one? How many apples? How many apples? Apples. Mm -hmm. Do you buy at the market? At the market. Very good. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you, uh, Sara. Sara, choose another classmate, please. Me no, me no, me no. Um, Pablo. Pablo. Pablo Abrego. Okay. Pablo, no. tell us your examples in the group. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, how many dress do you buy today? Um, how many applications does your cell phone have? Mm -hmm. um, how many people are there at the home? At your um, house, okay. Or at the, okay, very good. Excellent, um, Pablo. Uh-huh. And how much oil and uh, gas do you spend today? Uh, how much does the car cost? And how much money do you have? Okay, very well. Thank you so much. I don't have any money today. I haven't gotten paid. <laughs> A good questions, Paulo. Okay. Choose another, another person from another group. Okay. Not from Sarah, um, not from Pablos. Okay. Um, Wendy Marlene. Wendy. Ya sabía que me iban a decir. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How much is the warranty of laptop? Mm -hmm. um, how much does the laptop storage? Um, how many functions does the laptop has? How many functions? Okay. Functions, how many ports uh, does the laptop has? And how much does the laptop battery life? How much, read again the last one. Uh, how much does the laptop battery life? It's correct. Mm -mm. In that case, no. it will be how long. Like, for example, we say how, I'm going to put this in the chat. How long? Right? How long? For example, I can say how long, how long does mm. your English class take? Right? How long does your English class take? Take. It takes two hours. Now, two hours, it's time, right? Mm -hmm. So how long is equals time? So we can say, how long does your battery life, um, mm -hmm. or how long does your battery uh, performs? Uh, it performs, for example, my cell phone is old. So say, how long does my battery performs? Two hours and a half, right? Mm. Yes, mm -hmm. so I have to be at okay. home all the time, right? Or have another battery. So that's how long is always time, right? How much? Mm -hmm. It's money. Mm, okay. Right? How many? It's one, two, three, four, five. It's numbers. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Okay, now we're gonna put here. How time is, is incorrect. How time is yes. this? Yes, it's incorrect. Okay. You can say how much time, how mm. much time, that is correct. Okay. How okay. much time. Now, let me put it here. We're gonna do something here. Uh, sorry, teacher. Sorry, teacher. How much time is it correct? Yes, correct. correct. It's correct. Yes. Uh, time is, is incountable. Uncountable. Yes. Uncountable. Okay, okay. Okay. So we're going to do this. Look at this. Right? We have this. And how much? We're gonna make some symbols so you remember, right? How much, right? When we say how many, right? When we use how many, we're going to use numbers, right? Okay, okay. it's affirmative only for a sentence affirmative. No, right now we're making questions. Right now I want you to focus only on questions, Eduardo. Okay, questions. We're making questions right now. Uh, uh, do you say the question is a negative question? You yes. say man, you, you say any. Yes, yes, that's right. But right now, in this moment, in this moment, we are making questions. Okay? Okay, 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 We're okay. And how long? Right? I want you to focus on this. Okay, much money long is called in the question. Yes. Now. A, 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 any right now. Any uh, question is, is very good. Yes. <laughs> okay, now, do we understand this? So you can remember? Yes? Okay, now. Yes, 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 I remember you say, I remember you say, uh, the question, uh, in theory, is any, okay? Yes, but that's another topic. Oh, right okay. now, oh, okay, how okay, much, okay. how many? Okay, yeah, okay, okay, I okay, okay. I want okay. you to... I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got. Now, let's continue. Let's continue. Did you copy this information? Yes? Did you finish? Yes? Okay. Yes. Now let's go back to the book. Let's go back to the book. In the book, we have one exercise. Carol, can you please read the structure of the exercise? Complete the following question using how much or how many? How many? Very good. So what we're going to do right now individually, you decide which is here. Should I use how much? How many? How much? How many? What is the correct answer? Right? You have two minutes to give those answers. Let's start. Let's start. Use your book, please. This is on page number 10. Page 10 on your book. Go. Oops. Do you finish? Almost?
Let me know whenever you finish. Yes, miss. Okay. One moment. Tatiana finish. Let me know the others. Finish. Finish. Okay, very good. Finish. Finish. Okay. Finish. Except. Finish, teacher. Very well. Okay, so let's just start here, right? When start with Javier? Javier, what about number one? How many? Complete this, the question, please. How many pieces do I need to assemble this? Very good. Pieces. Repeat, pieces. Pieces. Very good. Thank pieces. you, Javier. Number two. Number two, tell me the answer, Wendy Marlene. Uh, how, how much do these books cost? Very well done. Thank you so much. Number three, uh, let's see, Manuel Alfredo, number three. Okay, Miss. Uh, how much uh, is the battery life of this computer? Very well, excellent, excellent. Now let's continue with Francisco Lopez, number four. Yeah, okay, Miss, uh, how many hours do you I charge it? Do you charge it? Very good. Number five. Number five. Let's see, Daisy, Elizabeth. How many money do you have? How, how many money do you have? Okay. Is this correct, Alexander? No teacher is how much money. How much? Why? Because what is the, the noun? Money. Money. Okay. So Miss Elizabeth, right down there. Money is yes. How much? How much money do you have? Right? Very good. And the last one, Carol, number six. Number six is how many gallons of water does the need? How many gallons of water does this need? Gallons, gallons Gall is plural. Very good, it's countable, excellent. Very good. Now, so with these answers, right, they are correct, right? Totally, they are correct, right? We can check them out, right? That they are correct. So check your answers there, please. Make sure if you have a question, let me know. Sorry, that's the... Questions about these questions? Questions about the examples? No, Miss. Thank no you. Questions. Okay.
Okay. Now I'm going to show you right now, right? Things that are very important to know, right? In this case about English. Now, did you see tomorrow? Tomorrow is Friday, right? You know, I work for another institution during the day. And tomorrow, I don't have to go to my work. Because, you know, students don't have to go to classes tomorrow because there is a lot of rain, right? So I'm very happy for that. I don't have to go. Do you have to go to work tomorrow? Yes? Yes, I have. I go to work. Oh, so sad. No, I don't have to go to work. Well, I work in my house. I don't have to connect. <laughs> Carol, too? Okay. Oh, no, I'm not. You don't? The work. No. You're a teacher? Yes. Good, Carol, good. Very good. Very good. So we're going to work right now. I want to show you here. Right, Carol doesn't have to go to work because she's a teacher. I don't have to go to work. Alexander has to go to work right, at 5 a.m. So, so sad, Alexander, so sad, right? But right now, you know, we're going to talk about our obligations because we are adults, right? Everyone here is an adult. So right now we're going to talk about obligations or things that sometimes we don't want to do, but someone, an external factor is telling us, yes, you must do it, it's an obligation. For example, right now for Carol and for me, because we are teachers, right? Our external factor is the president because he said, no, we're going to have an alert because it's raining, so we don't have to go to work. That's our external factor, right? But we have many. So let me see here and let me show you my computer. Can you see what it says have to and don't have to? Yes? Okay, very good. Now I'm gonna, I'm, well, let me, let me do something. Let me do something. I'm gonna call the attendance right now. And then we move that because it's 940. Uh, let me see. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Daisy Elizabeth Resinos Alvarez. Eduardo. Okay. Eduardo Franco Núñez. I am here, teacher. Elena Guadalupe Andrade Reyes. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, Miss. Francisco Sánchez López. Present. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. I am here, teacher. Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla García. Present, teacher. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present, teacher. José Bernardo López Montes. Present, teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present, teacher. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enriquez. Present, Miss. Luis Javier Castillo. Here, Miss. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Present, Miss. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present, teacher. Sara Vigail López Portillo. Present, teacher. Tatiana Ivón Torres de Beltrán. I am here, Miss. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Present. Yanira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Present. And, da, da, da. and Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Pablo? I just saw Pablo. He left? Okay. Well, now we are going to continue with have to and don't have to, right? So we were here. We were talking about obligations. So in English, in English, we use have to and don't have to. Remember, we also use has to for third person and doesn't have to for third person singular. Remember that, 
right? But the topic is have to and don't have to. So what do we use it for? We're gonna use it when we have a strong obligation, right? That's the first thing that we need to remember, right? When we have a strong obligation. Now, this obligation is external, right? For example, your boss, your parents, a role at school, at work, the president, that's external. That's not from me, right? That's not from me. For example, back in 2020, there was a pandemic. Do you remember the coronavirus? Yes, right? So during the coronavirus, we have to wear a mask, right? We have to put all the time a uh, this thing, I don't remember what it's name. Alcohol in our hands. We had to wash our hands. So those were obligations, right? Those are obligations. Now, can you please read the first example, Tatiana, and the second example, Alexander? I have to be home by them. My pa parents told me so. Mm -hmm. The number two is I have to get up early because I start work at eight. It's a rule. It's a rule. Very good. So what is the external factor or that someone, someone else is telling you? My parents told me so. This is not mentioned in the sentence. This is something that you already know, right? You already know this, right? For example, it is a rule. Imagine what time do you start work, uh, Franco? What time do you start your work? Lo siento, tengo bien mal el internet, casi no le escuché muy bien. What time do you start work? What time is work? Uh, uh, eight, eight, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, very good. Eight o'clock, yes. It is, it is a rule. Thank you, Franco. Imagine that Franco gets to work every day at 9, 9 a.m. What's going to happen to Franco? He's going to get fired, or he's going to get a warning, or he's going to get a penalty, right, in his, in his work experience, right? So we follow rules. Now, What's another rule? Uh, let's see, external factors. Uh, da, 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 da. What time do you have to prepare your classes, Carol? Repeat, please. What time do you prepare your classes? What time do you have to prepare your classes? Prepare, prepare. Prepare, don't translate, don't translate. That's <laughs> gonna hurt you. Um, the we, we, weekend? No, uh, weekend. There you go, on weekends. On weekend. um, uh, um, uh, vacation, vacation, the December. Prepare the all year. Mm. No, that's vacation. I, I don't have to prepare anything on vacation. I just sleep and read books <laughs> on vacation. Very good. Thank you so much, Carol. Now we're going to continue reading, right? Look at this. One moment. Now we have more examples here, more explanation. Now, Tatiana, could you do me a favor and read this part? And then the first bullet, Imelda, and the second one, Bernardo? Tatiana, please. Don't have to mean that there isn't any obligation at all. There is no need to do it. Mm -hmm, very good. 
Imelda? I don't have to get early at weekend. I can stay in bed as long as I want. Very good. Bernardo? You don't have to go with me. You can go somewhere else. Very good. Excellent. For example, in December, in my vacation, I don't have to prepare classes because I don't have a job. I work freelance. So, for example, Carol, she has a job, so she has to prepare the classes. That's an obligation for her from the Ministry of Education, right? For me, I don't have a job. So I don't have to prepare anything. There's no obligation, right? On Sundays, I don't have to wake up early because it's Sunday. So I wake up at 11 a.m., right? Oof, very late, right? So do you understand the obligations and that when you don't have obligations? Is it clear? Let's see more examples. Jacqueline, can you please read the next example? Would you like to go to the cinema with us, Jacqueline? I don't have to cook tonight. Okay, yes, of course. I don't have to cook tonight, right? Look, very good. Continue with the next example, Elena Guadalupe. He doesn't have to use a letter. The ladder, very good. Why do you think that? Because he is very tall, right? In my case, I have to use a ladder because I am very small. He is very tall. I am a small. So even in super selectors, I have to use someone to give me those things. So he doesn't have to use a ladder. This is a ladder. Look at the ladder here, right? Do you see the ladder? This, this is a ladder. He doesn't have to use a ladder, right? Continue. Next example, uh, Emerson. Yes, miss. I have to wear a suit at work. Okay, I have to wear a suit at work, right? I don't have to wear a suit at work because I work from home, so I'm very happy, right? So let's continue. Tatiana, can you read this one? I have to make oh, my no. bed. Okay, he is saying that, right? The boy has to make his bed, right? Because he's a boy. Continue there, Franco. Oh no. Sara Abigail, can you please read this? My mom. My mom did the dishes. I don't have to wash them. Because they already did them, right? Let's continue, Alfredo. Manuel Alfredo. I don't have to clean my room today. Okay. It's very clean. Look at that. You don't have to clean it. Next one. Let's see here. Daisy. Daisy? No. Alexander, can you please read this part? Students have to do their homework. Supposedly, right? But my students never do. Hmm. Okay. And next one, Bernardo. If your water bottle is in the classroom, you don't have to ask for permission. Exactly. Because you already have your water. Right? And that's it, right? That's it that we have today 
for have to and don't have to. Of course, we have not finished, right? We're going to see more information about have to, more exercises. But in this moment, I want you to tell me if you understand or not these activities. Do you understand them? Yes? Yes. Yes? Mm -hmm. I don't know, but you don't seem happy about have to and don't have to. Okay, let me show you here, right? <clears throat> let me show you something. One moment. I'm going to show a picture. And you tell me if the best option is has to or have to. No, it's not charging, sorry. Okay, now, in the meantime, uh, can you tell me, Emerson, when do you have to use have to or don't have to? When do you use have to and don't have to? Mm -hmm. Emerson? Yes, teacher. When do you use have to? When the action requires a strong obligation. Very good, excellent. Danny, what is an example of using have to? One example of have to. You see, uh, it's, um, activity is no obligation. When the activity is not an obligation. No, that's, that's don't have to. I need one example using have to. Mm. I, I, I have, I have don't is um. I have don't. Mm -mm. That's not correct. I have don't is not correct. I have, have to. I had, I had don't. No. I had do not. No. No. In this case. Miss Jenny, right? Let me see. Okay. We have subject plus have to plus verb plus complement. Right? This is my structure. Everyone, this is my structure, right? Subject. Now, an example could be Johnny has to say one example, right? That's an obligation, Johnny. Who is the external factor? Me, I am the external factor. I'm telling her that's an obligation for her. So Johnny has to say one example. So Johnny, tell me an example, use the structure. Look at this. This is the structure, right? Subject, have to, plus verb, plus complement. Okay. 
I will tell you another example. Um, I, I have to take, I have, listen to me. I have mm -hmm. to take my dogs to the vet every month. That's my example. Okay. My husband, my husband has to buy food every week because I like food. Right? So what's your really? example, Jenny? <laughs> Uh, he uh, also a lot of samples. Uh, I has to uh, go to go to the work, go to the work uh, uh, at the work. Okay, I have to go to work. I I has to. Okay. Now we have other thing. Remember, have to. In has to, right? Now, have to is going to be for I, you, we, and they, right? Oops, sorry. Okay. I, you, we, and they. And has to is for third person singular. She, he, it. it. Ah, right? Now, we remember this, right? Okay. Now we remember this. So, is this part clear right now? With structures? Yes. This is yes. all we have to. Very good. Emerson, what's your question? No, Miss. No question. Hmm. Examples? Do you have an example? For example, the he have uh, go to the buy he? every morning. He has mm -hmm. to uh -huh. buy every month. He has to buy what? What do he has to buy? He has to buy pupusas. He has to buy gasoline. He has to buy what? Food? New product for the soul. Okay, very good. Now, we are going to stop right now with this have to and has to. How much, how many as well? Tomorrow, we are going to practice again with this topic, right? So please be ready. In this moment, I'm going to send you through WhatsApp before you go. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. I'm gonna send you two, no, one information, one example here. I'm gonna send you the PowerPoint so you can have it, okay? And I am going to send you the structure of have to and don't have to. So you can have it there too, right? Please study. Study that information. It's important that you practice. Now, it's the last minute of classes. I will tell you this in Spanish. Por favor, practiquen también afuera. Lean la información que les mando. Dos horas no es suficiente. Okay? Ya pasaron dos horas super, super rápido. Right? So, I sent you two documents. Ya recibieron los dos documentos que acabo de enviar? Did you get them? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, I just yes, sent you the sir. PowerPoint for have to, and I sent you the structure of have to. I will send you an exercise too, so you can make it. The exercise, we're going to do the exercise in the class tomorrow, okay? So please study. Now, today we're going to finish right now, and today is day number two. So I would stay with Daisy Elizabeth Resinos Alvarez, if you have questions, please. If not, I will see you tomorrow, guys. Have a beautiful rest of the night. Bye-bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See ya, see ya, see ya.
Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Uy, se fue Daisy.